If you're a real estate agent and you never worked with virtual assistant before, you need to start with the plan, like understanding what v- virtual assistant is going to be doing for you. Hello and welcome to episode 96 of the Smart Agents Podcast. My name is Michael Walter and I'll be your host. In today's episode, we are joined by Sarah Turn, Director of Marketing for VirtuDesk. In an increasingly online world, hiring a virtual assistant is no longer a new concept, but one that many real estate professionals are unsure about. As a licensed agent herself, share us Sarah's tips for finding the right virtual assistant and keys to ensuring success once you've actually hired them. Now, before we get on to the day's featured interview, make sure to subscribe to the Smart Agents Podcast. You can find the show on all major podcasting platforms such as Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, and now Amazon Music. Also, if you or someone else on your team has an awesome story or a tip to share with our community, send us a message at feedback at smartagents.com. We're always on the lookout for new stories to share. All right, let's get on to the day's featured interview with Sarah, where she shares a ton of great tips for hiring the right assistant for your business. The way I like to start everything out is if you could introduce yourself to us a little bit, uh, who you are and, uh, and where you're at. Yeah, so uh, my name is Sarah. I am a director of marketing at VirtuDesk. And um, uh, we are located in Seattle, Washington. Great. And tell me a little bit about what Mm -hmm. uh, Virtual Desk is. Yeah. So uh, we are providing virtual assistance to our clients in the United States. And uh, we are covering all the industries, right? Real estate industry, um, finance, insurance, uh, IT companies, really doesn't matter. We're just helping people out when they need some assistance, you know, when they want to delegate some tasks, then here we are. Right. And yeah. real estate is definitely mm-hmm. one of those industries that can benefit from having a, uh, a, you know, virtual assistant. So tell me, you know, from your experience, what are some of those tasks that are best suited uh, for virtual assistants in the real estate space? Yeah. Uh, so um, I'm also a real estate agent, uh, like a local real estate agent in Seattle. And uh my job, like being a marketing director at Virtudesk, it's really helping me out with uh, my marketing strategy outside of work, like when I'm being a real estate agent, uh, you know, and I would say that it's hard to combine both, like being at work nine to five and also being a real estate agent, but I'm trying my best. Uh, mm-hmm. And I realized that my knowledge about like marketing strategies, how to send out emails, um, what to do on social media, how to promote your open house, you know, how to create a flyer uh, that's going to stand out on social media and actually, you know, bring me more clients. I know how to do that now. And it's actually helping me out to bring more and more clients on my real estate side. So that's how I do that. Right. So yeah. with the, uh, you know, for an agent that's listening to this, that uh, has not yet brought on a virtual assistant and is looking to do so, um, yeah. you know, from a marketing perspective and even lead generation perspective, what are some of those things that uh, having, you know, what are some of those tasks that the virtual assistants can assist them with? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's an interesting question. Um I would say that um, if you never, if you're a real estate agent and you never worked with virtual assistant before, you need to start with the plan, like understanding what v- virtual assistant is going to be doing for you. Uh, I'm getting a lot of questions about that, like how do I start with a VA? What tasks do I assign and stuff like that? So that's actually starts with you. You need to sit down and just write down the plan. Like, I need some help with marketing, for example. I need my virtual assistant to post videos and pictures and flyers while I'm doing open houses, something like that. Or we do have a lot of people who do not interested. Uh, they're not interested in marketing, but they're interested in cold calling. Like, I want my virtual assistant to sit down and just do the cold calling. You know to get me more appointments. So you need to start with yourself. And like that's a hundred percent truth. When you are done with this like little plan, um, like understanding what tasks to assign to a VA, then you probably can go ahead and just uh, hire a VA directly or from the company. It's up to an agent really. So right. So yeah. so really I mean you're putting together the the job listing as if you would any other job opening in your company you're Mm -hmm. kind of trying to figure out what the tasks are that you're that you're hiring for yeah yeah because uh i also noticed that uh a lot of people that are hiring virtual assistants they uh they're going to work with them for a couple of weeks 
but then they're realizing, oh my God, I don't know what to assign to my assistant, you know? So then I, I would like, I would like to cancel right now. Or if that's a direct hire, then, you know, we're not going to be working again anymore because I just don't know what to give to you. That is the problem. And that's the problem that's coming from an agent. Virtual assistant is going to help you if you are, uh, you know, giving him all the tasks, if you are clearly um, trying to explain to him what you want him to do for you. So that starts with that. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. So what are some of those things outside of, you know, the, the lists of tasks and the things that you would like that this, uh, this person to do, what are some of those other things that you need to have in place to make sure that this is a successful partnership really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a great question. So not only you need to create, um, like a list of tasks, then the next thing is think about the schedule. You know, if you're busy, real estate agent, do you need a full-time virtual assistant? Do you need a part-time virtual assistant? Or maybe just two hours a day, you know, like a project-based or something like this. So think about the schedule, think about the tasks that you would like to assign. And uh, let's go back to uh, the tasks again. Not only you need to understand if that's like a marketing or ISA assistant, you need to actually um, understand, for example, I'm a real estate agent. I want to be successful. I want to get more clients on social from social media, like doing the lead generation. Do I want to be popular on uh, TikTok or Instagram? What are my channels? You know, you need to think about that too, like all the details because virtual assistant, he's not going to solve all of your problems like next day after you hired the guy, you know, uh, you need to be very, very specific and just add all the details that you can possibly add to the list. So again, tasks, uh, like a very detailed list of tasks, schedule, and then what tools are you going to be using to communicate with your VA? If you are hiring a virtual assistant from the company, usually company is going to help you out with these questions. They're going to say you can use Skype, you can use um, iMessages or CRM systems. It's up to them. If you're hiring directly, then it's up to you. Uh, usually virtual assistants, they're very flexible with that. So uh, it could be iMessages, WhatsApp, uh, Skype, Facebook Messenger, 100% up to you. So how do you communicate with your virtual assistant? That's very important. And then also, um, I would add to this that it's important to communicate with your VA on a daily basis. You know, when you're not following up, like you, you don't know what uh, this person is doing at this time. Like if he completing all the tasks that you gave to him yesterday and stuff like that, you need to control that. You need to check on your virtual assistant, you know, just keep communicating. And then the last part I would say um, is um, how do you track your virtual assistant? How do you know that this person is actually working right now? So again, if you're hiring from the company, usually company will provide this tool for you. If you're hiring directly, then it's going to be uh, your headache, <laughs> so right. to say. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. And you, you touched on having, you know, really uh, detailed, um, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. communication because it's important to understand that there is going to be a little bit of a communication, you know, just, um, you know, just certain uh, terms for things might be a little bit different, you know, just having a very clear line of communication, I think mm -hmm. is important and having that very, very detailed list. I know uh, we work with people from all over the world and having each individual task yeah. very clearly bullet pointed out yeah. is super important. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and uh, I think it's also important to pick the right tool, like uh, like a project management tool where you basically can assign those tasks to your virtual assistant. And then you can also track them. You can see if your VA is working on this task right now. And then when she's done, she's going to move that to like another field, you know, so you know that she's working, you know what's happening, and you know that you you will need to assign the new tasks. I think it's it's very important to understand that again, you need to communicate with your assistant. It doesn't matter if that's an in-house assistant or virtual assistant, communication is the key to the success for sure. Right. Yeah. For somebody that's never um you know never worked with a virtual assistant and mm -hmm. not quite sure, you know, what is what it's all about. And, and and sometimes be maybe a little bit afraid to have somebody work 
you know, for them that they don't have yeah. uh, that personal, you know, connection with. Uh, what, what would you say to, to somebody that's never worked with a virtual assistant before? Well, it's not scary at all. You just need to realize that you need help. You need a virtual assistant right now that's coming from you. No one will sell that to you unless you need it. You know, if you're really busy, then you need to consider hiring a VA because as a busy real estate agent, I know that when I'm doing an open house, I don't have time to, you know, record everything myself and then edit the clip, post this on social media, um, you know, promote that on social media while I'm talking to people on the open house. So what I'm doing is I'm actually just recording the house, sending to I'm sending this to my assistant and uh, she knows the address. She knows all the details. She's creating the video for me while I'm doing the open house. It's already being posted on social media. She's engaging with people. She's replying on comments. You know, she's constantly doing that for me while I'm talking to like possible clients, so to say. So it's just, um, it's actually helping me a lot because I can focus on clients, signing contracts. She's going to take care of the rest. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. So I was, I was going to ask you about how, you know, you, you personally use virtual assistants yeah. in your real estate business, but mm-hmm. it, it, you know, it sounds like a lot of that, um, that stuff that would, you yeah. know, take a lot of time away from you yeah. know, meeting with clients and actually having that face-to-face contact with your clients. Right. No one will do that part for you. It's your job as a real estate agent, but obviously there's so many tasks that can be assigned to, to someone, right? In-house assistant, virtual assistant, doesn't matter. Uh, flyers for like farming, for example, or cold calling, or uh, just flyers for your open house or open house videos or pictures, it doesn't matter, you know? Uh, but again, it's it should be coming from you. Like what exactly you want your VA uh, to do on a daily basis. Right. Yeah. And I think it's also important for people to understand that these VAs, they're highly qualified individuals that know what yeah. they're doing. Yeah, for sure. I mean, if you're hiring directly, then you will need to check, like do the background check, uh, maybe talk to a few people, you know, interview them and understand if this person actually knows what he's doing. You know, if you're hiring from the company, it's, uh, it's much, much easier. Like the process, it's just, it's just so much easier. You just sign up and basically the coaches, they will find a virtual system just for you. You're going to talk with a few people. You're going to pick the one that you like, the best one probably. And then you're just going to start working with this person. Right. Yeah. So I want to ask, I want to ask you about, you know, virtual desk and how, how everything Mm -hmm. works. And if I, you know, if I were brand new, and was looking to to bring on a virtual assistant and I came to you guys, Where what would the next steps be? Yeah, so um, we are going to ask you a lot of questions uh, like uh, what would you like a virtual assistant to do for you? Is that a non-voice position, for example, like a marketing position? And then after this, we're just going to collect all the details from you and then the coaches and the placements team, they're going to find like a few assistants that match your description And then you're just going to go through the interview process, pick the virtual assistant, and then you're going to just start working with the VA right away, basically. And then you're going to have the support from the coach. So, for example, if something is happening, if, you know, virtual assistant didn't make it work today, uh, you will be contacted by the coach and he's going to deal with the situation. So it's all covered. That's, I think that's the main, um, like, I like this part about working with virtual assistants from the company, because if you hiring directly and the VA did not show up today, that that's it. You can't really do anything about that. You know, there's no control kind of thing. Right. Yeah. I mean, I think, you know, having, having somebody like you guys involved, it's it's having that, uh, that human resource, that HR department, you know, involved helping, you know, take Mm -hmm. care of things for you. Yeah, for sure. Mm-hmm. Right. What, um, you know, so if somebody, if somebody has never, you know, hired a virtual assistant before mm-hmm. and doesn't know how to budget that into their business, you know, mm-hmm. what are you talking, you know, what should people be expecting in terms of budgeting for a uh, virtual assistant? Yeah. yeah, that's a great question. So again, it depends on the tasks that you are assigning because um, uh, typically that's, that's what I'm seeing um, like, 
in internet right now, uh, like a new trend, uh, usually companies would charge a little bit more because you're just not hiring a VA alone. You're hiring the company, a VA, the coach, and the company will do everything for you. When you do this directly, it's probably going to be a little bit cheaper sometimes. But again, no one can... Uh, you know, protect you? What if this person is going to steal something from you, like your personal information, for example? You know, in the companies, they usually have like a cybersecurity insurance. When you're hiring individually, God knows what this person were doing before, you know? And about the budget, I would say that uh, I would start with the research, you know, as I'm usually doing that. I would see what's happening like on the website, such as Upwork or something like this, like when you're just hiring free freelancers. And then I would just go to the companies. I would check the budget. I would compare. I would see what's included in there. But yeah, it de- it's also depends on if that's a full-time position or a part-time position. So, right. Yeah. How have you seen the uh, trends in, you know, people hiring virtual assistants and working mm-hmm. with virtual assistants over the past several years? Yeah. So right now, um, the most popular type of virtual assistant services is actually general virtual assistant. That's the person who can take care of email marketing, of social media marketing, captions, uh, blogs, uh, website designs, flyers, anything that you can think of that they that could, they could cover this, you know? So that's, that's kind of the new trend right now. And also, as you probably noticed, uh, video content is booming. So a lot of people want to hire a virtual system just for this. Like we had a person who wanted to hire a VA just for his TikTok management, like creating those clips, posting them, editing them, engaging, making those videos like viral clips, stuff like that. So video content is like number one question right now. I would say. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. It's, it's something I, you know, didn't quite ask earlier, but how mm-hmm. <clears throat> having, um, you know, when hiring a, a virtual assistant and have, I think it's really important to also have clearly defined uh, KPIs and key for, you know, so that you have a, a definition of what the performance should be. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So uh, depends on the tasks that you're assigning, but if you're a real estate agent, I would say that, um, you know, while you're dealing with clients and your virtual assistant is dealing with your social media, you can check if the numbers are growing, you know, if you're getting clients, if you are just starting to do like the lead generation process on your social media accounts and stuff like that. So I, I mean, I'm usually creating a plan, like a lot of plans, actually like a monthly plan, like quarterly plan, yearly plan. I'm not sure about other people, but I would suggest them to do the same thing. And then you can just see if your social media accounts are growing, if you're actually getting real clients just from your social media accounts. And that's hundred percent possible right now. You know, there's so many examples right now with real estate agents are just posting and posting and posting videos like a lot of video content and they're getting clients nonstop. So right. I think that's the perfect example. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. And I think, uh, I think when it comes to the the video content and the social content, yeah. I think that's a great place for virtual assistants to help out because there's a lot of people that just don't have that experience yeah. and that, you know, the knowledge of how to, how to create that yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And since you mentioned experience, I would also add that um, if you're hiring directly, you can't be sure if this person is actually trained on certain platforms, you know, uh, like, does this person know how to use uh, like video editing platforms or tools? Well, he probably can send you some examples, but again, you will only see that after you start working with this person, when you're hiring from the company, they will guarantee the experience uh, like maybe possible experience and they are going to be trained for sure. Like the trained virtual assistants, I think that's what, you know, is going to help you out to make a decision. Right. Yeah. So before we wrap up, how can, uh, mm-hmm. how can people find you guys to, uh, to get uh, set up with a virtual assistant? Yeah. So you can just check out our website, which is myvirtuedesk.com, or you can uh, follow us on Instagram. It's just virtuedesk. So yeah, Perfect. you can just go there, check the pricing and 
let me know if you have any questions. Awesome. Well, thank yeah. you so much for taking the time to talk to me today. Thank you, Michael. Thank you. I really want to thank Sarah for joining us today. And if you're struggling trying to find more time in the day to get things done, a virtual assistant may be exactly what you need to take your business to the next level. So once again, if you think you or someone else on your team has an awesome story or tip to share with our community, send us a message at feedback at smartagents.com. Well, that wraps things up for this episode. But remember, follow the show wherever you listen to podcasts and make sure to subscribe to the Smart Agents YouTube channel. Again, I'm Michael Walter, and we'll see you on the next episode.